Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a brand or full range overview of Mixbook. Right, so this is the first episode in my new series, brand overview or full range overview. And what that means is that once I have one of each kind of a company's photo books, I will give you an overview of the full range so you can see what they have, what they offer, and how the books are different to one another. This is going to be different to my reviews because it's not going to go into up close shots. I'm not going to show you little details, you know, um, cover paper binding, printing, editing, and so on. I'm going to touch those topics as well, but in a more general manner. So the main purpose of this is to really show you what you can get and what are the options. So as you can see, these are my mixed book photo books. I've got quite a few. I've also got some more on the shelf, but they didn't fit in here safely. And I kind of have an idea that this is gonna go down as a Domino's show, but let's hope not. Mixbook is a huge company. It operates all around the world. You can get Mixbook books from anywhere on all five continents. Uh, they have several printing stations around the world. So if you're in the UK, for example, you don't need to get your books from the States anymore. You can get them sent from the UK. Now, let me give you just a very quick, uh, brief, history lesson on Mixbook so you know who they are and how they got here. They were basically established in 2006 and they wanted to help students create their yearbooks. So that was the main purpose. And very soon they grew to be one of the biggest and best um, photo book editors. In 2010, they introduced calendars and photo cards into their range. In 2012, they launched Mosaic, which is basically an app version of Mixbook, but it was created to, to make really, really simple photo books without any options from your smartphone. In 2013, they launched Montage, which basically follows Mosaic, but the idea is a bit different. Montage is creating automatic books as well with really, really cool layouts, but it's not exactly customizable. There's not so much you can do in it, as opposed to the Mixbook photo books. However, Montage, as opposed to Mosaic, works on the desktop editor and it's lay flat and it also comes in server high printing so the quality is far better than with Mosaic or even with the Mixbook books. And finally, in 2015, they launched two new products which was Photoprint and Canvases. Right, before I go to talk about the books, uh, I have a voucher code for you. Uh, use the code PBGURU30 to get 30% off anything from the photo book range. As you know by now, if you follow my blog, uh, Mixbook offers weekly deals, which sometimes can be bigger than 30%. So if you go onto my blog, thephotobookguru.com slash deals, you'll always find the latest current weekly deals. Right, so trying to get my uh, thoughts together. So let's start with the cheapest one, the soft cover book. Now, I've got one here. As you can see, it has a soft cover. It's obviously harder than the inside pages, but it's going to be a glossy soft cover book. This is the cheapest one in the range. The price of this book is 12.99 pounds. It's extremely cheap. And let me just show you some of the layouts in this book. So this is a miniature of another book that I've got, which is not here, but anyway. You can already see why Mixbook is one of my favorite companies when it comes to editing the books because the the layouts are so fantastic and you can insert these text in the bottom and things like that on the side. So everything is just really well thought about and you don't have to spend hours and hours on doing this. You just find a template that you really like, drag it down and start putting in your pictures and if you want you can customize it a little bit. but that's really all about it. So that's the cheapest one, soft cover book. Uh, it's obviously digitally printed, so it's not silver highlight printed and it doesn't open completely flat. The paper is semi-gloss, um, I would say silk. It's 150 GSM, uh, around 100 LB in American terms. There's no logo on the back and you will find that in the bottom here and this is the new Mixbook logo. Let's move on to the hardcover books. So these ones come in three uh, subcategories. One is the standard hardcover which is a glossy hardcover. The second one is the hardcover with the dust jacket and the third one is the premium leather cover with the dust jacket. So this one is a hardcover with a dust jacket on. So as you can see it comes off. The dust jacket is always going to be the exact same as your cover so you can only design this in the editor and then this is going to be the replica of it. 
and as you can see the back is the same as well so that's the dust jacket and it starts with an empty double spread very nice and it's the exact same uh, paper as the other one and as you can see there's a map there and the book starts and it's just again a lovely story of a holiday and this was again created in the mixed book editor and this was one of my first books so it is a really really old one I think from 2012 and yeah just a few pages so you can see it on the back there is nothing there I think the logo is yeah again on the second last page in the bottom there's the old logo as you can see and there's nothing on the back you've got the title on the spine so what you need to know about this is it comes with a dust jacket it's a really good quality hardcover this is six years old now and I can't see any wear and tear on it so it, it stood well with time um, fully customizable cover inside the same editor same paper type with this book I think you can go up to 400 pages so you can do an insanely long book so if you have hundreds and hundreds of pictures and you don't want to break it down into separate volumes then this is one of your best choices for it. If you choose the hardcover without the dust jacket, obviously it's the same story, but without the dust jacket. So the third one is the leather cover with the dust jacket. Uh, that's my newest book. I got this this week and this is called Looking Back at 2018. That's how it looks. I'm very, very happy with this book. I was using a new uh, template or theme from the mixed book editor and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to do this. I love this template. So let me show you that again. The dust jacket for this one is matte and the one for that was glossy. And I think all of the ones that are in the range now are matte because they changed. And when you take it off, okay, close up. When you take it off, it's a black leather. It's not the smoothest leather that I've ever touched, I'm not going to lie. It just feels a little bit thin, but nevertheless, it's a nice leather cover. It only comes in one color, in the black color. And there's nothing on the front, nothing on the back, and nothing on the spine. So all the information is going to be on the dust jacket. And it starts with a black spread, which is beautiful and adds the books a bit more elegance. And then let me show you this book as I absolutely adore it. So there is a little intro, where should I hold it? And I just basically made a book of my best memories, which are basically mostly travels. That's a little trip from Budapest, Tyree, North America, um, Paris. So these are some of the other things that you can put onto the book, you know, lots of stickers, lots of ideas. And again, this was made entirely from the template Friends Fest. Um, that's my family trip to Italy and some friends. And there we go. There's the logo in the bottom there. And again, it finishes on a black double spread. Paper is again the same as in all the other books, so no options regarding the paper and cover. It's just a, a black leather cover with a dust jacket, 150 GSM, semi-gloss paper. Sorry, I need to correct myself. For the hardcover, you can choose a new lustrous pearly texture, but for some reason I couldn't choose it for the leather cover, which I was angry about because I wanted to try that one out, but it doesn't come with the leather cover. It only comes with the standard hardcover. So the mixed book books come in seven, the mixed book books come in seven sizes, plus obviously the several sizes for the montage book and the mosaic. But the standard range comes in seven sizes, which is eight by six, 8.5 by 8.5 inches, which is a square. And then you've got the standard, uh, which one is lighter, landscape, which is 11 by 8.5 inches. You've also got a portrait, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. And you've got the 12 by 12 inches, which is this big one. You've got 10 by 10 inches, which is a little bit smaller square. And the biggest one is a 14 by 11 inches, which I haven't got here because I don't like gigantic books. 
especially because I've got hundreds now and I struggle with space, but that's the seven sizes. So extra large in landscape and square, medium in landscape, portrait and square, and small in square and landscape. Right, so let's move on to the next category, which is going to be the lay flat books. Now that's my favorite and that's the one that I've got the most of. And that's the one that I sometimes have my moans about because of the lack of options. So this one here is a lay flat book and it only comes with one cover option, which is a, a matte hardcover. That's fireworks for the Christmas lights, I'm sorry. Uh, so this book starts with an empty page there and as you can see, it opens completely flat and you can have a continuous flow of images in it, which you'll see in a second, like this one. I absolutely love these pages. And it's brilliant white. It has a matte texture. It's not glossy and it's not lustrous. It's completely smooth and it's matte. The book finishes again with an empty white spread with a mixed book logo in the bottom and there's nothing on the back. So no logo and no barcode on the back. On the spine, you've got the text again. Now, just to give you a brief comparison, this one is the exact same as this book. These are the standard pages, that's the lay flat pages. The lay flat pages are insanely thick and really strong, they don't bend at all. Let me just show you, if I can. So, you can see that's the lay flat pages. They're really, really thick. Now, here is the comparison. This book on the top is actually much longer. It's 290 pages, and this one is 90 pages in the bottom. And you can see the difference, how thick the bottom book is. So, the reason why I want to moan about the Lay Flat books is because it's the most expensive in the range, and despite looking really great and having a good quality, there are no options to choose from. And I think they should really add a few more options to the lay flat books because it would make it so much more uh, amazing than what they already are. So soft cover is 16 pounds, hard cover is 24 pounds, hard cover with dust jacket is 32 pounds, premium leather is 36 pounds, and lay flat is 48 pounds. So that's the price range and the difference between these books. Now, let's move on to Mosaic. Um, this is my Mosaic book. When I first heard about Mosaic, I thought it was a completely different company, but it's not. It's owned by Mixbook and it's a subsidiary, but they just gave it a different name to distinguish the look, I guess. So these books can be made from your smartphone. They can't be made uh, on your desktop editor. And you have to select 20 photos from any gallery or album. And the book can only be 20 pages. You can only have one photo per page no layouts whatsoever and it has a very signature cover with the little holes cut through so you can showcase some of your pictures which is going to be selected on a random manner that you can shuffle around so this is a linen cover i actually really like the cover it's quite pretty that's the only cover option that it comes with there's nothing on the back nothing on the spine it's a linen black cover when you open it, it's perfect bound. It doesn't stay completely flat. And the print quality is the exact same as with the mixed book books. That's it. And on the last page, there is no logo anywhere. I really love the packaging of this book. They all come in a lovely mosaic um, box, which if you take this thing off from the top, let me show you. And you put it in. It's just really pretty when it opens and you get the ribbon. They have discounts also on Mosaic. They usually come in an email, but if you go onto my blog again, you will find it under the deals section. And the final book in the range is Montage, which is really pretty, I have to admit. It has a leather cover, and now this leather cover is so much nicer than the one on the mix book book. This one feels a lot smoother. I don't know what's the difference, but I just absolutely love this one. And you have the really cute uh, montage logo embossed into the bottom. And on the front, you've got again, um, a collage of pictures that you can shuffle around to see if you like it. Uh, it's on a lustrous paper. When it opens, again, you have a matrix here in the beginning pages of your photos from the book. And then these were the layouts that montage created for me. You can see them 
So once you select three pictures for the page, then you can shuffle around and it's going to give you different layouts, but you can't move this picture uh, and you can't put uh, stickers and things like that. So it's very basic, but it's very minimalistic and elegant. So that's again just a few more pages. These are again really, really strong pages. As you can see, they don't bend. It's very similar to the lay flat books in Mixbook. Colors are so much better in this one. I chose the silver highlight option for this book. So the montage book comes in four sizes, six by six, eight by eight, 10 by 10, and 12 by 12 inches, all square sizes, and this one is the smallest one. You can choose from two different printing methods. One is the digital, which is going to be the same as those, and you can also upgrade for a silver highlight printing method, which is going to give you much better quality and tones. So the one I have here is silver halide and the print quality is noticeably better than the ones in the mixed book books. And the binding on this is absolutely beautiful. You have a little um, fabric there on top and it's just, it's just really nicely done. So without going into much more detail, that's basically all about the mixed book parent company range. Just bear in mind that Montage is not available in Europe at the moment, it's just for Canada and the United States. Price-wise, as you can see, there is a, a book for everybody. If you are really tight on your budget and you want something cheap, then you might want to go for that one or for the soft cover books. If you are happy to spend a bit on the books but you don't want to rob your account, then go for the hardcover with or without the dust jacket. It's a really great book and you can go up to 400 pages, it's insane. And if you want a really uh, elegant book that's going to make a statement, that's going to last long with lay flat pages, panoramic photos and so on, then go for the lay flat or for the uh, montage books if you are in the States. Now, regarding the print quality, I think Mixbook is doing really well compared to other digital photo book makers. Now, when I compare it to the Silver Highlight version of Montage, then the difference is noticeable and is quite big. I really hope that in the near future, they are going to introduce Silver Highlight printing for the lay flat books as well. But even without the Silver Highlight, the lay flat is a really great book. And what makes it amazing and really outstanding is the templates. I think they're going to introduce more things in the near future as this has been part of the standard range for quite a long time and as you can see more and more photo book companies are popping up every single day on the market so the competition is is growing continuously but Mixbook is certainly one of the biggest ones in the world right now with the biggest share. Now if you want to see an up close shot or review of any of these books i've done them all they are on the blog they are on youtube follow the links in the video below and you can check the paper you can check the binder you can check the cover and quality and the editor i'm going to give you a walkthrough in the editor as well in this video i just really wanted to show you the range as christmas is coming closer and closer don't forget that mixbook is a great gift to give anybody it's personal and it's photographs you can also complement any of these books with a card from their website or any other photo gift. Uh, what I really love uh, at the end of the year is doing one of these books, the Looking Back albums uh, a review in a year. So it's a great way to kind of sum up everything that happened to you in a year, especially if you've got a family and you want to put in the kids and stuff like that. So loads of themes and templates for the end of the year books and also lots of holiday and Christmas themes if you want to create one of those for anybody in the family. If you like my travel photography from these books, follow me on Instagram, Guy Around the World. Subscribe to me on YouTube and follow my blog, The Photo Book Guru. And of course, go onto the Mixbook website and check out these amazing books and the templates. I can promise you that you're not going to be disappointed with the editor. If you have any questions regarding these books or the company, leave them in the comments section under the video. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.